Hi, this is Nick with DCM Bio. Today, we're gonna to be going over using the adjust utility on your Biotech plate washer. If you feel uncomfortable performing any of these steps on your own, feel free to reach out to us at service at dcmbio.com. We'll be happy to help. The adjust utility is available on all biotech plate washer systems. The Select and EL406 models offer the Y-axis adjustments, while your other washers will only be able to adjust the manifold Z position and the carrier X positions. The adjustment utility is useful for defining specific locations for aspiration and dispense steps, either within individual aspiration and dispenses or a wash protocol. To access the adjust utility, First, open up the Utilities menu on the touchpad. From there, you need to scroll over to Setup and select the Adjust option under Edit Setup. Here you can specify which plate you're interested in adjusting. For the moment, we'll be using a 96 well plate. Select 96, and now we see three options, Aspirate, Dispense, and Home. These are all our positions. The home position will simply move the carrier back to the home state. We'll begin with the aspirate step. Press the button and the washer will bring the carrier over, lower the manifold to the default aspirate location. From here, we have three options to adjust. We can adjust the manifold's position, which is our Z axis, our carrier X position, and limited to the Biotech 405 Select and EL406 models, we can adjust the carrier Y position as well. Starting with the manifold, we see the default position readout, 0024. This is a measurement of steps. When you're defining this within a protocol, you will also see a millimeter conversion to the steps. This will help you get a good idea as to how far from the top of the carrier you are when you're adjusting in Z. You can jog by pressing either the right or left arrows. Decreasing the steps will lower the manifold, lowering the Z. Increasing the steps will raise the manifold. This is useful for if you want to leave a certain level of volume in each well, or if you want to avoid a cell layer or any chips at the bottom of your plate. Once you've got your Z dialed in, write this number down. You can then move on to the next step. For us, that's going to be adjusting the carrier X step. After selecting X, it'll show the zero position. The default home position for aspirate is zero, zero. Any adjustments to that will change where you're aspirating. Decreasing the carrier X is going to move the plate carrier to the right side, effectively aspirating more to the left of your wells. Going positive will do the exact opposite. This will help you to dial in exactly where within your wells you want to aspirate from. On the select models and the EL406, you also have the option to adjust the Y position. Going to the negative with the Y position will bring the carrier to the rear of the instrument. Positive, up to the front. Again, this just helps to define a location that you want to aspirate within your well. It's especially useful for crosswise aspirations, so you can hit two different sides or sections of each well. Once you're through and you have all of your values recorded, you can then enter them within the individual protocols. Pressing the previous screen will send the carrier back to the home position, and we'll adjust our dispense now. Pressing the dispense button, brings the carrier to the default dispense position. The greatest concern when adjusting the dispense position is missing the wells. With the angled manifolds, it's a little more difficult to figure out just how far to any side you can go. So it's best to leave yourself a little leeway and run a few dry runs first. Adjusting the dispense is advantageous mostly for cell washes or any run where you want to run fluid down the wall of a well instead of directly into the center. You can fine tune this using the adjust utility. Changes in X and Y will help you to narrow in exactly where you want the fluid stream to hit in your well, if it's a, well or a wall dispense or directly in. Changing the Z 
really doesn't have too much of an effect on the dispense. We recommend leaving it at the default, but if you have something where you're truly concerned about any overlay or splash or dripping, you can lower it to the set screw maximum. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, put them in the comments below. To see additional how-to lab automation videos and to check out our service options, visit dcmbio.com. If you have more in-depth questions or need to contact us about servicing your equipment, send an email to service at dcmbio.com. You can find links to our LinkedIn, email, and website below in the description. <music>